it's that time again. Gio, what is up, PPL fans? Shout here, coach of Bayern Munich in the PPL, and welcome to the draft analysis for season five of the Division One of the PPL. Ah, I'm incredibly excited. I hope you guys are as well, because we draft a very, 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 very hot team, if I do say so myself. And I think it's about time that we win something, because Jesus fucking Christ, it's been way too fucking long. So, um, yeah, if you don't know PPL rules and how we draft and all that stuff, make sure to, channel, uh, to head on over to the PPL channel. There are a bunch of videos that explain the draft rules, uh, Z-move rules, bans, unbans, and all kind of stuff, as well as, um, you know, power rankings are going to be there and all that stuff, um, and other stuff that I'm probably forgetting that yeah sure so yeah make sure to hang on over that to see how this whole drafting thing even works and also make sure to head over to the PPL fan discord because there you can support your favorite coaches whether it be me whether it be someone else from D1 whether it be someone from D2 uh, or you just want to hang out with people you know or talk about talk PPL and whatnot you can do it uh, as well as, most importantly, I think, for a lot of people, the public spreadsheet for PPL, uh, where you can see all the drafts when, you know, after draft team, which is going to go up after draft team, so I don't know why I'm saying this. Um, <laughs> um, you can see the schedules and all that stuff, so make sure to check that out as well, and follow through the season. It's going to be updated regularly, uh, because Raikwin is on, and Raikwin is the best in that kind of stuff, not Pokemon. Um, and yeah, so those are the three links that you should definitely check out in the description down below. Um, we also have some new competitors and some old competitors returning, that kind of stuff. So definitely make sure that you already that you actually know who is in the PPL and what's happening and all that sort of stuff. So been two minutes already, and we haven't talked about it, my team yet. So uh, the draft, um, as always, the uh, draft was randomized between the twelve coaches, and I happened to get really, really fucking lucky for the third season in a row. Uh, wasn't first this time. I was second, so uh, basically a wheel pick. Uh, as first was Jack from North Skitty, the non-fanatic. Um, so we can kind of talk about what we want. We didn't actually, but we had the option to, uh, and that's that's cool. So um, that was one one I won round one. There was nothing else I was interested in for one one because I knew what I wanted, and if I got that one, I can build from there. If I don't get it, I'd have to basically restructure my entire plan and have to scratch the other ones I wanted in round two and three. So. Um, that mod isn't be obviously because we're a Wi-Fi leak, Megalopony and things like that aren't allowed, they're not on Wi-Fi yet, Megalodios, all old things. So, those obviously weren't considered, but the mod I wanted, the mod that I think is probably the best mod in draft format right now, at least in the PPL, because things like Magia and whatnot are banned, is the mod I wanted, and it's the one I got. Jack took the Crossma first overall, uh, and I got the better Psychic type. I got the best mod in the for format. Once again, on the Bayern Munich, and for the first time actually in the PPL, Tien the Jirachi. So, first overall, second overall pick, uh, first round pick is Jirachi, and I'm really excited. I've used the thing so, so much in the GPC, what was brought to every game, carried me all the way through the, uh, to the violence, and it also put in a ton of work for me in March Madness, and just generally, I love this mod to death. As I said, probably the best mod in the format because it deals with so much shit so incredibly effectively it forces a lot of prep on performance parts because this thing unlike Mew it can actually fill every role reliably uh, what I mean by that is it's a much better physical Scarfer it's a much better special Scarfer it's just a much better defense not much better but a slightly better defensive month in some circumstances uh, than Mew in some Generally, Mew is the better one, but uh, the steel typing is incredibly nice. This gen, I think, steel types, defensive fat steel types, are a lot more important, and Jirachi gives me that. It gives me the stealth rocket. It gives me, of course, the captains. It's gonna be the case. It's obvious. Look at it. It's Jirachi. Um, actually, I'm, I might put a poll somewhere. Uh, if you see a little eye in the top top corner of your screen, I don't know if you can do that. I'll probably try to figure it out. So you can vote for the captain of the team at the end of the video. Uh, so that's gonna be hot. Uh, so yeah. I probably won't do that, actually, no, let's, let's scrap that, let's scratch that, we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jirachi, incredibly versatile Mon, ridiculous coverage, uh, really fat, gives me a wish pass immediately and a stealth rocker, a momentum gainer, a flincher, a wind con pretty much every week, a calm mind sweeper, phenomenal scar fries as set, and just overall a massive threat to every team, a reliable answer to so many of the you know new introduced, uh, newly introduced threats, and just all kinds of stuff. Plus, um... As PPL works, we have three Z-move users, two being straight offensive Z-move users, 
no support moves and the last one being able to use support and offensive moves and of course i'm going to make Jirachi one of my z move users this is just the offensive one so i can make any of these offensive moves that you can see if i'm scrolling down the fuck here uh into a z move and that's pretty nice um it's also worth mentioning that it uh gets healing wish that's definitely a move uh, that i'm gonna make use of for the season and yeah i love Jirachi. it's amazing and you know what it does i'm just gonna move on so um <laughs> By the way, Jirachi was 19 points, I should mention that, with 110 budget and 110 mil budget, you know, million pounds based on football stuff. So, Jirachi was 19. So, round two. Um, I was going for a certain core that I may or may not have drafted before. <laughs> so, I didn't expect to get it, honestly. I was really hopeful I would, but I didn't expect to get it. So, when this thing came back to me round two, I was so excited. Uh, I don't think you understand. I got the, honestly, best Mega in the format right now, Mega Charizard X. It's gonna be called Dragneel, you know, Natsu Dragneel. It was Natsu in the FDA, but Dragneel just sounds much better. Um, and this is it, the best Mega in the format right now, in the PPL at least, because these at Mega Love, Mega Laudios aren't allowed, uh, or not available. Lot X, I love the thing. Somehow there's still people who think this is bad, I don't, I don't, I can't grasp it. It's mainly GBA people because it hasn't done anything in the GBA yet. But it's not on the Mon at all. <laughs> With all due respect, it's not. Um, yeah, Cloud X, phenomenal Mon. Uh, it's going to force me to bring hazard removal it c occasionally. Occasionally, you don't want to get a too ahead of ourselves. But this already gives me good, good synergy with Jirachi. Uh, Jirachi gives it a wish pass, a healing wish user for a CF sweeper like, like Zod X. It's phenomenal. Um, plus, the thing is not only a, a fantasy DD sweeper, maybe even an SD breaker, which SD Zod X just breaks everything in half. I don't care what it is, it's gonna fucking die. Um, also, gives me really good bulky mon because 78, 111, 85 with the dragon fire typing, which is really good defensive typing, is phenomenal. Plus, people forget it has 130 special attack. So if I want to go special, I'm going to go fucking special ZX, and you're not going to do anything about it. So, uh, yeah, ZX, it's so good. <laughs> I don't understand how people just don't use the thing that much. It is one of the best mods in the format, and I love it to death. I'm hopefully going to use some spicy sets. Usually, honestly, by using it uh, so far, it's usually just DD Roost Dual Stab, because it's all you need to destroy things. You run a fancy EV spread, and that's all you have. Um... And yeah, Zodex, you know what it does, I'm so excited to use it, and now it's time to finish the core, because there's one thing Zodex is not a fan of, that is status, usually people deal with a T-Wave or Toxic, uh, and there's one Pokemon that's really good at preventing things from getting T-Waved or Toxic, or even burned, but not of course, Zodex, and that is none other than Tapu Fini, so <laughs> that's our own 3 pick, uh, Zodex was 18 points, Tapu Fini is 15, uh, Tapu Fini is gonna be called Azura, of course, shout out to Fire Emblem Fates. So, our first Gen 7 mod in the PPL. Uh, <laughs> I have the core. The core has been assembled. Jirachi, Megazard X, Tapu Fini, which is, in my opinion, probably the best drag Dragon Fairy Steel Core you can get in the PPL. Uh, I, I, yeah. So, I got the best mod, in my opinion, Jirachi, and the best Mega in Zard X. Now, I have one of the best defensive Fairy and Water types. You know, Fairy types and Water types. Not Fairy Water types, because there is no other good defensive one, because uh, Zoomal is a strong guy. So, Tapu Fini sets up Misty Surge for Zardex, so things can't status it, which means Zardex is so much more threatening to everything ever. It also just perfects my Fairy Dragon Steel Core, <coughs> and with Zardex starts my um, my Firewater Grass Core, so that's cool. It also gives me Hazard Removal. Uh, the only thing, really the only thing that's not amazing about Tapu Fini is his lack of reliable recovery, and I have a Witch Pass in Jirachi, and I'm obviously going to get another one later on because Finny is that important. Good thing walled so many things, it's it pretty much breaks any wall, almost any wall, in half. Just with Zardex, D3, I don't have to worry about any bulk. I don't care what it is. I can break it with just those three Pokemon, and that is amazing. <laughs> Top of Finny with Nature's Madness, which is a stupidly good move, uh, even though it misses like every time. And Taunt can beat everything. Also has the option of being a Calm Mind Sweep, it has some decent coverage moves, uh, Grass on Ice Beam, that kind of thing. Um, a Dual Screener, which I didn't even realize, because why would I set up Dual Screens if I can just kill things with Zard? Easy. <laughs> no. But I can set up Dual Screens for Zard, that's kind of cool. It also gets Haze. So it it basically just gives me my Fat Fairy and my Fat Water. I don't want it to be my only Water type, so I'll probably look into that later on in the draft. But this thing is phenomenal. 
this core is ridiculous and I'm really really excited for it. In case you don't know Tabu Fini's stats too well, it is really fat, it's pretty fast for a wall, kind on the weak side, but <coughs> that's manageable, especially with Nature's Madness just breaking, just bringing everything down to half, which is just ridiculous because nothing is immune to it, unlike Super Fang, so love it. <laughs> Tabu Fini, Zodex, Jirachi. I'm just gonna, that's the FDA core I had, or the core I had in FDA, the Fey Dragon Asshole core as I like to call it. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. So. Now this draft has a couple weaknesses, um, there are two I want to patch up, Electro types are still a little scary, even though Zodiac deals with most of them, most of them I want a ground type to deal with them reliably, uh, and also ground types, ground, ground types are still really really scary to these three, uh, Phoenix and shoe hits, <coughs> but again, lack of recovery is gonna make that a little problematic, so, the first thing I want for round 4 is the thing I'm really really excited for, this might be the one I'm most excited for honestly for the season, it's the one I gotta buff this gen, it's a mon that I used to think was pretty shit in Gen 6, uh, but I think now it's actually one of the best mons, honestly, around. Um, ridiculous mon to prep for, uh, it forces way more prep than it ever should, and that is none other than Ducktrail. So, um, Nino is going to be Ropa, I'm not going to explain it to you, you could ask Shunraver for that. I think maybe, let's just put it random because it doesn't matter. So. Um, it's a long, complicated thing. It's, just, it's a Shroom Raven nickname, so it's going to be complicated and somewhat smart. So, um, Dougie got a 20 attack boost in this gen. 100 base attack with Arena Trap. And, this is my special Super Saiyan amazing Z move user. <laughs> I can use status Z moves because it gets Memento. So, I can run Z Memento into Zodex. If you don't know what Z Memento does, it does Memento and it heals up the Pokemon when it comes in. So, basically, it means Zodex wins. And there's pretty much nothing you can do if I do that. <laughs> so, um, Duck Trio forces incredible amounts of prep because things uh, things uh, things are gonna be scared to just run a normal item if they're weak to ground or in just in general. Now that it has base 100 attack, it can actually hit hard. Um, and people might run Chet on things, which makes uh, the life of my other three months a lot easier. Especially Top of Phoenix and Nature's Madness things down. Especially that X doesn't have to worry about as much about like rocky helmets and stuff. Um, and that's beautiful. Duck Trio is so much better this gen, it's actually a massive threat. I think it's criminally underrated still. It's price doubled from 6 to 12 this gen in the PPL, but that might still not be enough, honestly. Um, it also gives me a stealth worker, of course, with Jirachi you now I have 2, which is nice. It's always going to increase because you know me, I need more stealth workers, even though I only had 2 last season. We don't talk about that. Um, and yeah, there's, I'm just going to show you move pool real quick so you can think of other things they can do with the Z-Move option that I have. Um, there are some cool options I have offensively, but mainly going to be a Z-Memento type deal, if anything. And yeah, so Dougie also gives me, of course, a fantastic speed here. Base 120, the other thing that the other three don't have is speed. So Dougie, well, not you know, straight up speed, because RX needs to set up to be really fast, uh, and Dougie has that. Dougie also traps like dark, uh, like not dark types, uh, bulky fire types, it traps rock types, and all that stuff, steel types for uh, Rachi and the other two for Zod X, and that's really, really good. So, this thing is gonna force a ton of prep on things, it makes a lot of threats just less scary to me, because they either have to run an item to not get trapped, or they're gonna get trapped and fucking die. So, I uh, expect to run into a lot of shed shells and chocoberries, and if people don't predict, uh, prepare for it, you're gonna get fucked. Simple as that. So, uh, that's the fourth pick. Really excited. So, uh, the first one is another mod I've used fairly recently uh, in a little off-season off thing, I guess we can call it. Um, this is my ground resist. I wanted a grass type, a pure grass type that resists ground. Um, obviously, there aren't that, that, uh, there aren't that many options, but this one f uh, just fits so well. I, I just looked at it I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Um, it fits another speed here, and it gives me that ground resist, a really decent Pokemon. It gives me another fantastic win con that pairs up well with Duck Trio, uh, as well as Zodex. And that is, of course, superior. So, uh, this is going to be called uh, Akiza. Yeah, Akiza. I think that's her name. Yeah, Akiza Zinski from um, Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds. Because she was using like grass things, plants, and stuff in the game. Yeah. So, uh, not much to say about superior. It's a fast grass type that gets leaf storms off and gets boost from it and then kills things eventually. Shit coverage. But with me having Dougie, that's going to be remedied by that. Um, 
It also gets some odd options like Call My Call and Swords Dance. I really like the Swords Dance set. Might bring it at some point because Swords Dance appear was my shit before it got country in Gen 6. Yeah, I used it in the NU, it was fun. Or PUE, whatever it was. Um, this thing also gets Glare. Sub Seed or just in general Leech Seed is a really cool set. I love Leech Seed, it's, it's become one of my favorite moves uh, very quickly recently. And yeah, it has shit for coverage. We all know this, and that's fine. But that's not what I need. Uh, it also gives me my second. No, wait, Dougie gets taunt, right? Pretty sure. Let's check. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. I'm silly. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. What the fuck? Um, whatever. Ignore me. I'm stupid. Uh, it gives my second taunt user with the Pufini, so more things that don't care about fat. I love it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It also gets the fast dual screen user if I want that. Well, I've done it in any Pokemon Draft World Cup where I had it. I don't think I got a single kill with Superior because I use it as a more support mod or other things just kill things like Gorbis and Megalopony. But, you know, I use the thing, I'm really keen on using it more. And I think it needs like a, a good player behind it because otherwise Superior is not going to shine. Uh, and I hope I can make it work. We'll see. I'll, I'll show as hell, try my best. Uh, and we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. And yeah, we're just going to move on to the next pick. Yeah. <laughs> For my next pick, uh, I wanted another Wish Pass on my team. Definitely. I had a couple options like Leaky Leaky, of course, uh, was always on my mind. I also wanted more hazard removal. And this mom was on my draft plan for a long time because it just fits those roles uh, perfectly. It does both of those things in one. Uh, it gives me a normal type, and of course, it is none other than Komala. Everyone's favorite little thing. There's no one that dislikes Komala. You, you're lying to me. This is going to be called Chumli because Chumli Hoffick in, in um, Yu Gi Oh! GX used. Uh, Koala decks, so yeah. <laughs> uh, Kamala is a really, really cool Pokemon. Not just because of its design, but also because its stats are kind of weird. Look at it. 150 attack is nice. 95 special special defense is decent. Then it has 75 special attack for no reason and shit like no coverage. You yeah. know. But the main thing it has is Comatose, which means it cannot get status. By anything, by any circumstances, unless you know, like Gastro Acid or some bullshit. I think cannot get status. If anyone wants to skill swap this, I'm gonna be impressed and I'm gonna applaud you. Um, <laughs> the thing is, uh, does get rapid spin, it does get wish, and does get U-turn. So I can uh, wish up, get a slow U-turn out into something like Tapu Fini, and get that heal back up, which is phenomenal. Also gets bulk up, can be a decent bulk up threat, uh, and sweep teams that way. That is entirely possible. Not too, too likely, but it might happen. Um, it has some decent coverage, as you can see. It gets sword sense as well. Um, and... Yeah, it's a Komala. I like it. It's not like the most reliable wall in a sense, but I need it to be more of a pivot. I, um, between Tapu Fini and Komala, I'm not getting set as the season. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Like, it gets some decent coverage in the form of Earthquake, Woodham, and whatnot. Uh, and also, Acrobatics, which is weird. But yeah, it also gives me a cute thing to have on my team. Because you need your know, cute little mascot type deal. So yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, Kamala fits those roles. Uh, I should mention uh, my my prices. That career was 12, superior 13, and this was 9. So, um, yeah, I, I like the thing. It's cool. He's there and he does stuff, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, it's probably one of the more expendable mods on my team, but um, having Rapid Spin support is very nice. So, uh, we're just gonna get out of here and open a new team. Uh, how exciting. Uh, I, I called this full and nay. Don't judge me. Uh, so, for next pick, uh, I realized that I, while I have a water type and a ground type, uh, I wanted to f uh, double up on those spots because Tapu Fini can get worn down somewhat quickly uh, if my team, my opponent has more offensive team. My opponent generally plays around well, uh, plays well around Tapu Fini and my wish passes. So I want something else that can help with that. I want also another reliable ground type, so I don't have to rely on Duck Tree to take like to take on all the electric types because that seems a little scary. Uh, and of course, I want another self blocker. So we have, I think, the first and one of no, one of two remain, uh, returning members uh, from PPL history, at least in Bayern Munich, and that is none other than my buddy Seismitoad or reliable Bennington from PPL season three, our best season. Uh, and I'm happy to have this guy on the team again. I said, all reliable. The thing just does what it has to do every game, and it is so ridiculously reliable at getting up rocks. Getting off toxics, knockoffs, to uh, skull burns, and whatnot. It just does it. Whatever you want it to do, it's probably going to do it the game. It also, of course, gives you the option of going a meme rain sweeper uh, and, you know, Ellie someone, or I guess Charlie someone, because I was the one that got fucked by it. Whatever. 
Um, yeah, third episode gives me another, is it, what, another water type, another ground type, uh, and a reliable stealth worker. I love this thing to death. Uh, water absorb is really nice to have, uh, even though like Skull Spam doesn't do that much when I have a Finny. You know, <laughs> it's nice to have. And the thing is also part of one of my, in my opinion, like best performances in draft. Uh, against Necrostevo, where I realized there's no word and wash didn't have leftovers, so it probably had a chest berry. So I mean, Toto was spec crept to it, speeded, knocked it off, and the turn he went for rest. He rested, as I just said. Uh, went to Manaphy, tag lob on that sleeping Rotom, and just kind of won from there. So, yee, that was a fun game. <laughs> and I absolutely love Sergeant Toto. It's ridiculously reliable. I, I said it like three times already, but I highly encourage you all to draft the thing when you can just do it it's so good <laughs> um yeah it also has decent coverage in the form of like ice punch and sludge bomb and whatnot poison jab uh for some reason it doesn't get waterfall or ice beam i don't know why but in case you didn't know now you know it's stupid and i hate it um bennington because uh that's one of the chest of bennington from lincoln park and crawling my skin and the thing swept me so i played crawling my skin my video on PPL season one in case you haven't seen it, it's against Ellie. You can find it if you want to. <laughs> so, um, next up, I it was more than I had in mind. I wanted another flying resist. I wanted some little bit more speed um, and just a strong guy. You know, another, another cool guy that can help me with with stuff. Uh, and that is our last Z move user actually. And I wanted I always loved to some extent. I was kind of interested uh, on using it for a while. And then kind of forgot about it again, and now I'm really keen on it again. And it's the another one that I'm incredibly excited to use. I don't know why, I just am. And that is Aerodactyl. So, uh, we had Mega in Season 2, but now we have the regular one. This is going to be called Kingsley, because uh, Mega Aerodactyl was called Costa after Douglas Costa. So we go on the next step and buy on wingers that are not Hilary or Robin. And we go on Kingsley, because Kingsley come on. So, yeah. <laughs> also, it's just a dope-ass name. Kingsley is a cool name. If your name is Kingsley, you have a cool name. So, uh, Aerodactyl is one of my Z-move users as a set, which is really cool. <laughs> because not only does it give me a good flying step, because I can run Super Sonic Sky Strike with either Fly or Air Lace, depending on matchups. Also means I can run a strong Rock Step, doesn't fucking miss. And if that isn't the greatest thing, I don't know what is. Plus, as I showed with Aerodactyl, and I have one of the things that makes Aerodactyl so great, is this ridiculous coverage. It gets so many moves that I can use as Z moves, whether it be Earthquake, whether it be uh, Aqua Tail, Iron Tail, Crunch, File Blast, all that stuff, I can Z move any of them and just eliminate a threat for my team. Uh, Aerodactyl is a really, really underrated mod in my opinion. I love Megadactyl, which is already underrated. This thing is equally as underrated. It's not as good, obviously. With Z moves, eh, it's pretty close, <coughs> honestly. But yeah, I love the thing. Uh, gives me speed, gives me another stealth rock and another option of hazard removal. I know Redactyl isn't the best defogger, but with 130 speed, it's a really good emergency defogger, that kind of thing, you know? If I don't need a move slot, I can just slap on uh, defog, and if it if pu push comes to shove, if I need rocks gone from my Zard, I can just do that, click the button, let Redactyl go down, and be a happy camper. So, if you want to give me good offensive threats, uh, offense check to a lot of threats, um, and yeah, I love I love the thing. It has a really deep move pool, and another taunt user, and maybe I'll run Fat Aerodactyl because I used Fat Mega Aerodactyl a couple times. So we'll we'll see how that works. Also, 130 speed is just glorious. It's, it's beautiful. Decent special bulk as well. Pretty bad physical bulk, unlike Mega Arrow, but you know that's fine. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. And next up, uh, two more months ago, I have uh, so wait, seven hundred was eight points or eight mil. Aerodactyl was six. Now move on to my last two mods. I have 10 mods, not 11, because I rarely go 11, because I don't think it's... Do I actually? I, might think, I think I might have in the past with meme picks, but no meme picks this season. Spoilers. Um, <coughs> so at this point, I'm still pretty weak to fighting types, because I only have type of Fini as resist. Uh, I only have one weakness, though, so it's kind of manageable. Uh, more things can either take a hit, weaken them, that kind of thing. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. But I'd like to check them, that kind of thing. Rachi as well. So, yeah. Uh, but I want another thing. For that, I also wanted a um, Electrotype because Electrotypes, Electrotypes just fit really well in this team. And I went with a mod that I've once again <laughs> been incredibly excited to use for ages. And I finally got around to using it or to drafting it, not using it quite yet, but it's gonna happen obviously. And that is Rotom. Shout out to the Flaming Spate. Um, just regular old ghosty Rotom. This is gonna be called Scott because it has Tom in it. And Tom Scott is a great YouTuber and he does like sciencey stuff. 
sometimes, occasionally, and this is a motor, I get, I, it makes sense, okay, shut up. <laughs> also, Scott is a chill name for Pokemon, especially for Rotom, I don't know. Um, yeah, Rotom, I like the thing, I think it's pretty underrated, honestly. I was only 4 points, so that's very spicy, and it gives me a spin blocker, which is cool, gives me momentum gainer, and, and ground immunity, and fighting immunity, uh, and I think this thing has really good defensive potential, like bulky offensive kind of deal. Uh, as I used the thing in NU, it was phenomenal at the time. Uh, like late-ish, mid to late-ish, Gen 6 NU. The thing was really, really good. It was like the god of the tier. <laughs> it beat like everything. It was great with like Will Wisp Hex variant. I love that set. Uh, still do. And I hope I can do similar things with it. Uh, Rotom is not a fantastic one in the sense that it's, it's really weak. <laughs> it's really weak. It's also not that bulky, uh, it's bulky quote-unquote quote, quote, quote in the sense of its typing, making it immune to a lot of things or resistant and just not weak to a lot of things, so it can take like one hit, can deal with a lot of things, burn them and then just go from there and be happy. Uh, can pace with up on things which is really nice because of the low HP stat, um, and can gain momentum with uh, Volt Switch of course. So it's not the greatest mon, but it also prevents like things from clicking high jump kick against my team. I think it's only like two months, three months that were drafted to use it, which is... I guess enough, <laughs> honestly. Um, maybe more. I don't know. Whatever. <coughs> yeah, I like Rotom. I think it's a really cool like pivot with its typing, and I like it. It's great. It doesn't do much. Like it, <laughs> Buffo is kind of you know shallow, but it gets trick as well, which is like, something I should mention probably. And I, I like the thing. I think it's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited to use it. Honestly, I don't know why, but it just. It's a fun mod. It's a really, really fun mod. I think George used it in GBA. He did really well with it. So we'll see if we can, you know, one up him as we never are, as we're never able to do. <laughs> and now the last mod. As I said, there are going to be two returning mods. And if you look at my team, I'm still in need of a dark type. Uh, I didn't want to add one that's weak to fighting. I really want to drape on um, because they're the same points. But Joel took that selfishly. I think round round eight. So like. Two rounds before this, uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this on the on the table and pick it up later on. It's all reliable. One of my favorite mods in draft format. One of the most underrated mods in draft format. Good old Skuntank. <laughs> Skuntank. Yes, I can type. Zebo the Skuntank has returned once again for another season of the Bayern Munich or for the Bayern Munich in the PPL. Whatever. Um, and if you've been here around since season 3 and for a GPC season, you will know that I've used the thing a lot. I love it to death. I think it's a fantastic mon and probably the best answer to offensive ghost and offensive psychic types, more importantly. Uh, as it's not weak to anything they get because almost no psychic type gets ground coverage. Um, and it can pursue trap them, can sucker punch them, crunch them, all that kind of stuff. Can even run a special set with acid spray. I've used sub acid spray in the past, it works well. <laughs> Uh, I've never used Explosion Skull Tank for some reason, but that's fine. This also I like to use. I like to call it a core breaker, as it deals with a fair amount of like bulky cores, like a Steel Fairy core, potentially even Dragon Power, because it get, does get things that play rough. Uh, it just deals with them, like Flogus and um, Flogus Megaladios, Skarmory is core Jack Hat, and this thing just hurt all of them a lot. So yeah, Skull Tank does that really well. I just think it's a phenomenal answer to a lot of things that are kind of threatening to a lot of teams. Plus, of course, Aftermath is a really cool ability. I can just throw this into things and just let them take damage. Because that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, Skunnik does that for me. And I think Dark Types are absolutely crucial in League Format. Also gets Memento, I should mention that. Uh, so I can have another Memento user, one Memento user, one Z Memento user, just in case. <laughs> and yeah, Skunnik is great and I love it. It's about six points. so. Yeah, that's the team. <laughs> um, I think I went over it a little bit more quickly than usual, quote unquote only, um, at half an hour. But, uh, that's fine. I think that's fine. So, that's the Bayern Munich for Season 5 of the PPL. L, oh, that's not weird. PPL. <laughs> PPL! <laughs> um, I love the team. I'm incredibly happy with it, I think. Um, most people that I've talked to, or you know, most people in, in the PPL I've seen it so far, agree that I probably have the best draft, and that's a nice change of pace because I re rarely do. I'm usually ranked somewhat low in power rankings and stuff, so we'll see how that works out this season. It would be cool if I wasn't, and not that it matters really, but you know. <laughs> um, 
yeah, as a team, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty spicy, my dudes. <laughs> um, yeah, tell me what you think of the team. Tell me who you think should be the captain, because I'm not gonna do a poll, because that would just like spoil the team from the start, and that'd be boring, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking. I definitely think it's just gonna be between Rachi and Zardex. Whichever one you guys want to be a captain between those two, maybe Skuntank or Sizemtow because those are OG members. So yeah, between those th those four, Zardex, Rachi, Sizemtow, Skuntank, who's gonna be the fucking captain of the team? Leave a comment down below and stuff. And yeah, so that's the team. <sighs> Week one of season five, we go up against a newcomer, someone that, that we have played before in the GPC. So he has faced me with Drachi and Skuntank before. And that is none other than Will aka Makati and his Buffalo and builds. He joined the PPL and I'm excited because he's a great guy, really good player, uh, fantastic content creator, and just a great guy. I love him. Um, and that's going to be a fun game. He drafted a ridiculously fat team with Mega Pinsa as well, and then stuff like Delphox, which is scary and really underrated in draft, and just not a fun time, honestly. Not going to lie, it's not my favorite time. But. I think it's definitely manageable. I think he has one of the slightly weaker teams in comparison to the others, but um, a team with Mega Pins and Delph you know, Delphox is. <laughs> it sounds weird to say it in the same sentence, but I, just, I think Delphox is great. A team with Mega Pins that you just can't underestimate it. It's impossible. Because <laughs> that thing is a massive fucking threat. So, that's the team. And that's the week one game we have to play. Make sure to check out all the links in the description below PPL Discord, PPL Channel. Um, Twitter and the um, public cheat talk whatever and yeah if you're excited for PPL season make sure to you know subscribe and stuff and subscribe to all the other coaches that I will hopefully probably put in the description because they're all cool people and check them all out because they all deserve your love not as much as me of course but you know <laughs> um, yeah competition season is incredible and I am really excited and I hope you guys are as well. I keep repeating myself. I'm gonna shut up now. I don't think there's anything else to mention. Um, shout out to Raikun for being the best admin ever. And that's, that's it. <laughs> so, that being said, thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nudes. I will appreciate all three of those. And hopefully, see you guys next time. Goodbye.